Congressman David Kustoff. He is a member of the Financial Services Committee. And Congressman, it's great to see you this morning. Thanks very much. Your reaction to Omarova withdrawing her nomination. Yeah, good morning, Maria. Uh, it, was, it was the right thing. And, you know, you, you think about, and you set it up perfectly, President Biden essentially nominated a Marxist to be the comptroller of, of the currency. And the comments that she's made, not even 30 years ago in the Soviet Union, but as recently as within the last year, about the industry that she would have been in charge of, essentially, that, that she, as comptroller, referring to it as a, I'm not going to say the word on, on TV, as a, as a blank industry, uh, that should concern anybody and, and everybody, coupled with uh, the comments that she made about the ener energy industry and energy companies, that essentially we should let them go bankrupt. And, and I don't know how President Biden can justify nominating somebody like that to be a representative of his administration overseeing financial institutions in this country. Well, I mean, I think you have to question the president's judgment. He also comes out with a statement yesterday saying she would have brought invaluable insight. I mean, we all know what she said. We've got the sound bites to prove it. She wanted to nationalize our bank account so that we don't have our own private bank account, that the Federal Reserve gives us an account and oversees everything that we have, our money that we earn. Um, so what, what kind of judgment does the president have to put her forth in the first place and then to come out with a statement afterwards? Should we be scared of the next person he puts forth? Yeah, well, he, he also said, I believe, that she was unfairly attacked. And what, what Republican and Democratic senators did uh, in the Senate is talk about her own writings and, and what she said directly to the American people. And, and frankly, when, when you're President Biden and you campaign as a moderate, but you put forth nominees that are to the left of the left, to the left of Elizabeth Warren, who line up with, with Elizabeth Warren, uh, that says something about Biden's governing philosophy, and yeah. they yes, knew they does. knew when they made when they made this nomination, they started out with 50 Republican senators, absolutely against this nomination, and when you look at the the Democrats, there were at least three senators not named Mansion that did not support this yeah. nomination. So I think that says it all. Well, I mean. This is very concerning because there are issues that we are all watching that are developing and changing. We're looking at digital assets. We're looking at a changing banking industry. And frankly, it doesn't appear that the Congress has a real grasp on what's going on to put such a person forth. I'm sorry. I mean, look, today, CEOs from major cryptocurrency companies are going to be testifying in front of your committee, the House Financial right. Services Committee. And Congressman Kustoff, you'll be there. What do you plan to ask? Tell me how you see the the banking industry and the financial services industry changing as a result of crypto and, and digital assets, and what should we expect today? Well, I think you should expect Democrats to want to uh, try to super regulate uh, everything that's discussed as it relates to, to crypto in this in this hearing. Uh, for people watching, I liken it to the beginning of the of the internet age. And one thing that that our government did that was smart in the 90s was have a light regulatory touch because it allowed the it allowed the internet to to innovate and we were the leader if we see that territory if if uh, democrats want to super regulate crypto then we're going to stifle it and we're not going to be the leader and somebody that means somebody else some other nation is going to become the leader and it will, uh, it, this could be, it will be a job creator. We'll see new companies. You can think beyond the horizon and let your imagination go uh, if, in fact, we don't, we don't decide to overregulate and let the SEC, the CFTC, the, the Fed, whoever, any of these alphabet agencies try to come in and, and regulate the territory. Yeah, I mean, it's all a mystery right now as it, as it develops. We are really watching this change in real time. So we'll be tuning in today to that uh, hearing. Congressman, it's good to see you. Thanks so much. Thank you, Maria. Thank you for having me on.